what's up guys learning with rich here again so let's continue our discussion about steel framing so our last topic is about adding beam systems so this time around i'm going to teach you how to edit or modify your beam system okay so as you can see obviously if i'm going to zoom in here on our elevator shaft so if you remember we created last time our beam system but there's a problem here so our framing here or our beams are passing through our elevator shaft so let's edit this one okay so to start that i'm going to open the level two just double click the level two and then as you can see i now have here two views so level two and 3d view so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select the level two and then from the view tab i'm going to use the tile views you can also type wt so what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click this and then I'm going to add that to quick access toolbar so that I'll be able to select it here. So just in case I'm here on the structure, I just need to select that tool without going to the view tab and then selecting the tile view. So it's already here as your shortcut. So let's say I want also the tab views. So right, we right click that and then add here. Okay. Now, um, I'm going to select the tile views here. Zoom into this area. Okay. And then I'm going to combine the properties with the project browser here. I'll just need to drag this window. Hold your left click and then drag. Put it on the project browser. Let's combine it like this. There you go. So we now have the project browser and then the properties for an additional space here. Right, so let's start. Let's go to the Structure tab. From the Structure panel, there is our BIM. So I'm going to select the BIM here. And then from the Type Properties, I'm going to select, let's say, uh, 12 by 26. So let's select that one. And then after that, using the Line tool, Tag on Placement, let's hover our pointer to this primary BIM or primary frame framing so as you can see there's a temporary dimension that is appearing so i'm going to move my pointer up and then i'm going to type the distance that i want so let's say eight inches for example then enter there you go now i connected to the primary frame and then i'm going to connect to another primary frame here i click and then i select here modify so there you go so there's the frame that i just created which is this one okay so this is our primary frame right so if i'm going to select that so it's called oh sorry not that so you hover your pointer tab tab again and then you just selected the frame so i'm going to click that i just want to check what type of structural framing is that so that is primary okay so you are creating pri uh, primary framing if you connect it from column to column but if you are going to create a structural framing from primary frame to primary frame you will be creating a secondary frame there you go All right so remember column to column you will be creating primary frame primary frame to primary frame you will be creating secondary frame okay or secondary beam or secondary framing All right so let's do the uh, let's do this as well to the other side so I'll just uh, select this one right click and create similar or I can also select that type CS there you go so that it's also create similar so again I hover my pointer here and then move my pointer down eight inches enter Okay, and then you click. There you go. So we just created now the other side here. Okay. All right. So what we are going to do here to this passing, uh, this framing that is passing through our elevator shaft, we are going to split that. So that's the tool that we will be using, split element. Okay. So let me just change this visual style to wireframe. Oh, I don't like the wireframe. Uh, probably I'll just use shaded view. 
and then um, let's select this one. So this is actually a shop opening. I am selecting the shop opening. So I press tab and then I click. So this is a wall, right? See the category is wall. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open the visibility graphic override. And then I'm going to hover my pointer all the way down, slide it. So from the walls here, so there is an option here, transparent. So I'll just change this, override. So let me make it, oh, how about 80? And then OK, and then OK. There you go. So I'm now able to see the frame here, OK? So I'm going to zoom in here. So let's use the split. So before you use the split tool, since this is uh, this was created as a beam system, for you to be able to edit your beam system, you need to unpin it, okay? Because as you can see, if you click this frame here, so it's pin, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select these four uh, beams here, holding your control, and then after that, you can just select your unpin, or you can type EUP. There you go. So you are now ready to edit the uh, beam system. So to do that, like what I've said, I'm going to split that. So from the Modify tab, there's my Split Element tool. You can also type SL. So when you click this, check out the options bar here. So it says here, Delete Inner Segment. So meaning to say, if you click two point, the inner segment will going to be deleted. Okay, so you have an option here if you want to delete that or not delete it. Alright, so I'm going to delete that. So I'm going to pick two points. So I'm going to hover my pointer. Look what will happen here. It will update. So I'm going to click this area. One. Then I'm going to click another point here. Two. There you go. So it's now deleted here. Okay, so I'm going to select modify here. Now I want this to be clean, so I'm going to click this. And then you see that blue node, so you just drag that and then align that to that line there so that it's clean. So let's check out the other side. So same with this. So click, drag the blue node, align it here. There you go. So that it's clean. Alright, so my split tool is also here. So I just select split element. Let's split, click, and then you click again. We're going to edit that later. So we click that, then you click again. There you go. Let's click this. Let's click this. There you go. All right. So let's edit this one. So let's click that, drag. Okay, so click that, drag. There you go. Okay, so this one is already fixed. All right, so here, click that, drag, click, drag. All right, so click, drag. All right, so there you go. All right, so let us uh, tidy up this tag here. So let's click this. You can use the arrow on your keyboard and then just move it down. You can use the window selection and then just drag, move down. Okay, there you have it. Okay, so basically that's the basic way of editing your beam tool or your beam system using your split element tool. All right, so hopefully you learned something from that video. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, you can put it on the comment section below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Once again, thank you for watching, guys. Have a nice day.